Hello, East Families. My name is Scott Wofford. I'm the IB coordinator here, here to give you a little introduction to our MYP personal project for this year. We, as an authorized IB World School, offer two international baccalaureate programs. This is a message for our 10th graders who are in the last year of their middle years program experience. It started in sixth grade. Not our kids, obviously, because this is our first year, but in the future, all sixth graders through 10th graders are gonna be MYP students. Um, along the way, we will have tried to encourage the idea that once they leave our building, that they should be lifelong learners. To be a lifelong learner, do you feel it's more important to know how to learn or find things that you wanna learn? In my introduction of this project to our kids, we've had some really rich discussions about this, and we've got some folks that have had strong opinions about one or the other, but many have recognized that they kind of go hand in hand. And to be a lifelong learner means you both know how to learn, and you're able to find things that you want to learn, and they just kind of build on each other. This project kind of fits really well with that goal. Um, you can see here in our diagram that there's a lot going on in the middle years program. The personal project here is the capstone event really the thing that brings their experience all together last year of it. So what is it? It's an independent research project. Students create the learning goal, the product, and the process. It doesn't have to be an academic pursuit. In fact, we kind of want it to be something that happens outside of the walls of the, the building. Um, and in fact, many of the best personal projects are things that have nothing to do with school. Each student is gonna be paired with a faculty supervisor. That faculty supervisor may have no idea um, what the student is doing, but they're an expert in fulfilling and finishing projects, and that's where their expertise is going to be most helpful. All of that project get brought, gets brought together in a formal reflection at the end of the project in the form of a report. And we've got a really nice structure to help support the student as they go through this experience. For us at East this year, we're going to manage this project through the sophomore seminar course. Every sophomore has to take it. It affords us a lot of time in order to, to structure this thing and to move a student along step by step. That said, some of the parts of the project may have to happen outside of the school, particularly depending on if the student has a non-academic um, topic, like basketball or skateboarding or cooking or something. Each student has a fact, or sorry, a, a student workbook with activities that facilitate the project. We know the projects don't all happen at once. Um, the workbook is set up to just allow students to take the next step and the next step and the next step until at the end, they've got a completed project. Uh, that said, many of those steps have deadlines that, that equate to grades in the sophomore seminar course to give it some structure and a little bit of weight to it. Those workbook, workbook activities are available on Schoology and will be there throughout the entire year if a student gets behind or wants to go ahead. Uh, like I said earlier, each each student is going to get paired with a faculty uh, supervisor and they'll have three formal interviews. Informally, they may meet with this faculty member uh, a lot along the way to get advice, but those interviews are structured and part of the process and are there to just give feedback along the way. Um, the report at the end of, the, at the, end of the, uh, the process is going to be the final exam grade in sophomore seminar course. And it's the only formally assessed part of the project as far as IB is concerned. All of the other parts are gonna get bound into that and it can, it'll be able to express um, uh, what the student has done along the way. There are example projects that are on the Schoology page that they all joined and feel free to take a look at those things. Um, you'll see a couple of good examples about what students have produced. The personal project has three phases. The first phase, um, the planning phase. Second one is applying skills and that's where the students actually do the project. And the third is reflecting, and a lot of that has to do with writing and preparing the report. This list right here gives you an idea about the workbook activities that we've created to help move through the planning process. And a lot of it allows a student to start with their learning goal that could be kind of vague and formalizes it into a highly challenging goal, product, a process, and some criteria for being successful at the end of it. You can also see that it ends with a supervisor meeting and there is a period of research that they'll have uh, in the library to help support their learning. Phase two, applying skills. That's where the student creates their product, does a lot of reflection, captures some evidence, and then at the end, again, shows their supervisor um, and discusses their progress. The reflecting phase is the final one. They'll be in sophomore seminar courses outlining and preparing the report 
and they'll present that to their supervisors in the final meeting and get their feedback. This rough timeline kind of gives you an idea for how it moves and each one of those chunks sort of lines up with some of the quarters of our school. The first phase of planning is going to be largely take place uh, September and October and a lot of that's going to happen in sophomore seminar. The research library time is going to happen in November and December. When a student comes back in January, that's when the applying skills phase happens. And the final phase reflecting is done in March and April. Starting a project may require some discussion and some help with you as a family. So what you can do right now is talk about an idea for a learning goal. Help the student figure out what do they want to do, what do they want to learn about. Um, the key is finding something that they really are going to enjoy. Um, the best personal projects are the ones that are so closely aligned to having a good time learning something that they really want to. See if you can turn it into a highly challenging goal. Challenge your student to make it a little bit more ambitious. We want it to be a really fulfilling pro process as well. Help them consi consider an idea for a product to show their learning. And imagine which ATL skills they might build along the way. ATL stands for Approaches to Learning. And it's IB's recognition that all independent people have five skills. Independent people know how to research, they know how to think, they know how to be social, they know how to manage themselves, and they know how to communicate. Um, your student along the way will develop some of these skills, and we want them to be actively thinking about it along the way. They will certainly be formally reflecting on it at the end of the report. All right, to support our students, um, we've got these four wonderful sophomore seminar teachers, Ms. Cornelison, Mr. Ackerman, Coach Hood, and Mr. Jackson. Like I said, the Schoology group is up and ready to go with a lot of resources to help them, and the code right there um, is available to join if you'd like. Students are going to create their own OneDrive project folders so that they can keep safely in the cloud all of their progress. This is going to be shared with their supervisor, their sophomore seminar teacher, and me, the coordinator, to make sure that they're on the right track. Like I said, everything goes into that. It doesn't go anywhere. They can't lose it. Um, it's very safe. But that student workbook has a timeline in it, and each student has a student workbook. And I encourage you to check out page five to see when the deadlines are, because those deadlines are going to line up with smaller grades and sophomore seminar to help support the thing. So as your first step, I want you to remember this key. Try to help the student choose something that they want to do that they know that they're going to enjoy. That often is the key to success for our students. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions, reach out to your sophomore seminar teacher or you can reach out to me. My email address is scott.wofford at mnps.org. Thanks for listening and take care.